Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Now I used to do a lot of tutorials with glasses on. So basically I would, you know, film a beginning and an ending with my glasses on. And not a lot of you could see my eye look behind my glasses. So that's why I'm bringing my glasses down so that you can see this. And also I think I've done a full cut crease where it is easy for you to see um, that, you know, I have done a makeup look behind my glasses. They're not covering it as much, but um, if you're interested, if you're in this full cut crease eye look that I used with the Boss Babe eyeshadow palette by Exynos Cosmetics, then I would love you to stay here and uh, then you can see how to recreate it for yourself or for somebody else. Also, the lip combination today was Kiss for a Cause, one of my favorite lip colors, and Tahitian Pearl Gloss. For lips today, I'm going to be using my Kiss for a Cause, which I haven't worn in a while, but it's such a gorgeous, bright, hot pink lip color. And then on top of that, I'm going to be using my Tahitian Pearl Gloss. And I actually got a collection recently from one of the Glam and Gloss workshops with Senegens, and I received a little bag which had Tahitian Pearl Gloss and um, some other goodies. So I'm excited to show you that as well. Let's start with a kiss for a cause. Remember we're going to be, remember we're going to be shaking up the bottle because we've got to make sure that it's distributed evenly. Thank you Celeste. I hope you guys are doing really well today. And I also want to thank you in case I haven't already. I probably do this a lot is I want to thank you to those of you who've recently subscribed to my channel, those of you who've been here since day one, it means so much to me, my channel is growing. I just, I'm so thankful every day for what I can do to be inspiring to all of you guys. And of course you inspire me to keep going and I have purpose in my life. I just love it. So thank you so much. And hopefully with my videos, it gives you a sense of you know, happiness or, you know, something to look forward to because that's how my life is. I always feel like I've got something to look forward to. Okay. So maybe some of you recognize this is the palette I'm going to be using today, which I've already got on this eye is I've got the Boss Babe palette and um, yes, it's Exino Cosmetics and you guys know I was talking to Terra. I wanted to make sure I got that right. Terra is um, an amazing lady that I met on Facebook, saw her videos, and I really wanted to order Exeno Cosmetics with her code because she just came across as such a kind, understanding person. Um, Whoever that was. Mummy's getting, getting a, a catfish moustache at the moment. We've got to work on that. We don't need no catfish in here. No catfish. Okay. I think it's better to eat catfish. Uh, Except I've never actually eaten a catfish before. I used to see catfish downstairs in the, not downstairs, at the park here, at the lake. Hmm. But I think the Chinese man ate them all. I haven't seen them for a while. It's koi, cool, wasn't it? It's cow. Is it? I thought they were catfish. I actually don't know the difference now, now that you mention it. Koi is the pretty orange and white ones. Yeah. Yeah? So what's catfish? I thought you said, thought you said it was oh, catfish. Brown, flat-headed. And... Well, which one's edible? They both are. Really, I guess. I don't know. I never really well, tried You're Chinese, you eat anything, don't you? Oh, before I forget, now I'm going to be using the Tahitian Pearl, and it's one of my favorite Senegens glosses. It 
gives me that blingy look. Like I'm expensive. Okay, so I'm going to be putting on the foundation now. I've worn this before. It does have a little bit of an intense smell. I will be honest, if you're ever trying this for the first time it, and you're not used to products that have smells or you prefer things that, to me, like I prefer, thank you Celeste, I prefer things that are <laughs> flowery and smelling, you know, um, fresh perfumey like, but this is not like that. I kind of imagine this to be more like paint. Um, yeah, it's, it's not um, the best smell in the world, but then again, neither is my Morphe foundation, and I like using that too. So if I can get over the smell, and I know that it's doing something good for my skin, then that works for me, but I know that's not for everybody. So I just thought I'd give you a, a warning, um, a sort of friendly announcement, that if you ever get yourself a ColourPop filter stick, it does have a smell. Warning, warning. Oh my god. So in my video I'm going to have her talking and you giving commentaries and it's just going to be like people are going to think we're a wacko family. Oh. Having my coffee this morning. It's helping me motivate myself. A beauty blender. I will be back. Okay, so I used a wet wipe just now to clean up um, underneath the eyeliner. I'll be honest and say that like if I bring my eyeshadow down, it drags down my eye and I want to uplift my eyes. So that's why using a wet wipe and concealer or just concealer really does um, neaten it up a bit. Maybe that's something that you guys do anyway, but I know that's worked for me in the past. Okay, so uh, now that I've done my foundation, obviously I'm going to use a powder to set it. And in this case, I'll be using my Starlet Natural Beige. So this one here. And then just swirl that around on my face. drip first thing in the morning it's not even morning now it's lunchtime isn't it we're a little bit past that time of the day struggle with trying to be a perfectionist, making everything that I do perfect. And with that, it means that I'm slow to get things done. To the eye. So what I want to do is start off with a concealer. In this case, it is actually a conceal and define full coverage foundation which is really funny for the longest time I thought it was just concealer but it's not it's a foundation but it's worked for me so that's what I keep using
use this Boss Bay palette and I'm going to start off with the shade Fierce. I'm going to place that in, um, just going halfway because I actually want to add another crease shade. I'm going to place that on top of the last shade I just used, but I'm not going to cover it up, just tap over it to give that dramatic effect. Alright, and then um, hustle with my finger. in the middle love it it's really pretty and then for the beginning I'm closer to the nose again I'm using the shade I am with a different finger preferably because otherwise you'll mix the shades together and I want that um, white shimmer to stand out by itself. Yeah baby. Alright. So for eyeliner today I'm going to be using my Colourpop liquid liner hopefully you can see that I know you guys are used to me using my BYS one so it's nice to try something different every now and again I'm gonna have a bit more coffee just finish it off now this one has a very long this one has a very long tip you see that here I'm not used to really pointy long tips. I'm used to my BYS, which is a shorter tip. So I have to be really careful around my eye when I'm applying this. So I really get it on an angle. As if I want to join the end of my brow. I 
I don't think my wings are ever the same, but I always make an effort to get them as similar as possible. Alright, I love that. Okay, I don't spend too much time on wings, I kind of just want to get it done quickly, you know, and wing it. Anyway, um, I'm going to use my wet wipe, whoops, and um, just fix this up, because obviously I need it to be neat, and try not to make a mess around here. Okay. Alright, so this time I'll be using a different palette because the Boss Babe doesn't have pressed glitter. So I have the Beauty Creations, which has the splash of glitter number two. There's actually two palettes. And unfortunately, I had a look at the website maybe about a week or so ago, and it looks like they sold out. I don't know if they're ever coming back. Um, that's a little bit unfortunate, but if you are looking for more pressed glitter palettes, I do have another couple in mind. So now I'm just going to use my old stuff, so I'm sorry, I don't know if it's ever coming back again. I really hope, fingers crossed, I hope it does. But this is the Beauty Creations by um, Splash of Glitter, and uh, the shade that I used today was actually a shade I've used before, top corner, which is like a dark grey. I'm just going to be using an angled brush to, um, yeah, basically add on top of my eyeliner. Also made an effort to do my nails. I think some of you know as well, you've probably heard that I'm a musician, so I don't really like to get my nails done like I used to when I was really focused on, and I'm not saying I'm not focused on it anymore, but when I was just only uh, doing my makeup and skincare business, I didn't consider, you know, um, having short nails. I had long, nails that were I don't know do you remember what I, I would get acrylics and SNS nails and they were yeah really long uh, but I haven't done that in a while because it's actually really hard to play the piano and guitar with long nails <laughs> so now I cut them short all the time plus I have a six month old and you know it's also because I care about her so much, I don't really want to have long nails around her. And if you've ever heard about, you know, having long nails and trying to wipe your bum. Anyway, that's another story. Um, so it's really important to just, for me, to just have short nails. And I get to colour them, so that's fine. King Swim. Oh, look, we, we actually have, it's, it's cancelled. I guess I'm not getting a swimsuit today. It's not cool for I Celeste. We... I want her to have her consistent swimming class, but that's just bummer. Oh well, mummy ain't getting a swimsuit today. Nice to <laughs> oh, it's a bit unfortunate. I was really looking forward to swimming tomorrow. Well, I guess I'll. Gotta do what you gotta do. For mascara today, oh my goodness, I'm getting glitter all over my leg. Um, I'm gonna be using the Colossal, which is by Maybelline. Maybe Pardon me. Maybe it's Maybelline. What? Why are you laughing? Nothing, I think just, I got it wrong. You did it. What? You did it good. I <laughs> did it good? You did good. I actually can't remember how it how it goes.
flashes. All right, so I'll do these ones off camera and then think what else, what else will I do off camera? Hmm, I'll come back. All right, you guys, so off camera, as you can probably tell, I look so funky right now. This is hot. Um, I'm <laughs> got some powder happening here at the bottom. This is the Makeup Revolution. It is a bake and setting powder. Please excuse any background noises. My husband is very much a streamer and gamer, and he loves doing his Xbox games, so there might be some background noises, and I'll do my best to cut it out. Anyway. So, um, Makeup Revolution has a bake and setting powder. I really love this, um, how silky it is on my skin. Obviously, the idea of baking is to make sure that um, it'll lighten up some areas, make it a lot more flawless, and in this case, it's going to help with my contouring. I'm not the best at contouring. I'll be honest, it's something I've got to learn, get better at. Um, but this is kind of how I've done it for a while, and maybe I've just gotten into this comfort zone of, doing the same thing contouring I have used my BH cosmetics palette you'll see actually because I'll be doing this on camera I've got my contour above that my blush and then highlight and I actually decided to do a C shape so add my highlighter around my eye today I don't usually do that oh yeah and my nose as well but um, I just thought for something different just to give a bit more shine and glow to my face as my face is looking very dry today. Um, just wanted to help it out. So I don't know what you guys uh, do when it comes to highlighting, but I, do, I hardly ever do my chin because if I do my chin, it looks like I'm just oily and greasy and um, I try to avoid that area. But definitely my cheeks, my nose and um, yeah, that, that's about it. Again, my forehead, if I'm adding highlighter there, it makes me look greasy. <laughs> so I stay away from my forehead and my chin having any sort of glow from a highlight on them. Anyway, let's get into it. I want to start with contouring. Um, in this case, I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics Pro Studio. Again, I don't know if this is in stock anymore because I've had a look on the BH Cosmetics website and I didn't see it um, but that again that was maybe a month ago so let me check again you guys can always check it for yourself I know BH Cosmetics they ship to Australia and the US which is great for those of you living there this middle shade here at the bottom is what I'm going to be using and when I contour I start from the top and I bring it down um, you know onto my cheek onto my jawline and I like to use an angle brush as you can see here Oh no, the battery's about to die. Oh man. Okay, let's do this quickly. Blush, I'm going to be using my Floral Blush Palette by Beauty Creations. And it's the shade here. And I'm probably not going to be able to do this all on camera. So followed by that, the highlighter I used was um, this one by the BYS. It's the BYS highlighter called Santa. Monica and I love that it has these three gorgeous shades. This is the final look everybody. I want to say a big thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed to my channel recently. I am far from perfect but I do everything I can to be the best I can to show you what I love to do. So if you've heard from somebody else and been referred to like someone's given you some information about me that um, I have a really great YouTube channel. Hopefully I can reach your expectations and that you feel comfortable being here because seriously, I have so much fun doing these videos and I also know how important it is to be kind to people because I love having people kind to me. You know, I like to be treated well as well as people, um, 
you know, as well as me treating people really well. It, it just works both ways. So that is a really big importance to me and of course my channel. And I think a lot of people who are here are attracted to that as well. It's all about being inspiring, empowering, just uplifting people because you never really know what sort of day somebody's had and you could just say something that could really lift up their day and it doesn't have to be a big thing but it could be something as small as complimenting them on something that they've done it could be something that you're complimenting them about the way they look just anything that is about praise and encouragement could really help that person as opposed to saying something negative and not really realizing the effect it has on somebody I can't speak for everybody because there's always going to be somebody who feels the need to say uh, something rude, but it's usually their own personal problem and the best thing you can do is to, um, as I say, with failure, you just make more success. So with some negative comment, just keep being positive. Just keep sharing with everybody what they're good at, what you're good at, and just focus on yourself. And self-love is a big thing that I also promote in my channel. I don't do anything as in sell any products that are about self-care specifically, like I would really love to do that, you know, have my own mindfulness app for you guys or some sort of meditation program, even some sort of life coaching, but I haven't quite gotten myself there yet. It's just about me sharing with you the importance of being kind and letting people know that they're doing the best they can. So keep showing them that they can do it. Show them that they're worth it. And of course you are worth every penny. Now I also want to mention that I added highlighter in my inner corners and in my brow bone and that was with my Santa Monica by BYS highlighter. Unfortunately, I didn't get around to filming that, but you can see it's pretty obvious and I thought it would just add to uh, the look and just make it a little bit more brighter and oh, I just feel really zen and relaxed. So I'm gonna be spending the next part of the evening watching a very on the edge TV show, which my husband and I have gotten very uh, involved in, but at the same time, it is my way of <laughs> relaxing. So I'm one of those people, just if you ever would like to know about what I do, I love horror movies and I sometimes I like crime TV shows. So I'll be watching a crime TV show tonight and believe it or not, some of them are really great because they're not just about the crime, they're about the ways that people solve the crime and that people are saved in time before you know, <laughs> there's a deadline. So um, I didn't quite literally mean that, but just it's really important that there are people out there who have a job to save other people and make sure that they're going to be okay to let their families know that, um, you know, they're gonna be in their arms really soon. Like they have no control over specifically how the person got into the crime, but they can definitely be there to save them before it gets any worse. Anyway, good things are coming to all of you. I love you guys, have a great rest of the week and thank you again for being part of my channel. It means so much to me and if anyone has you know, said anything about my channel, good stuff, then as I believe in karma, it all goes around. What comes around goes around, so just keep being who you are, love who you are and life just gets better. Bye now.